All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just back at you again uh, with a lesson in hopes to edify. All right, which edify means to build, all right, upon your faith, to build upon the elect's faith, you know, for salvation. All right, this truth is only about, well, it's mainly about our salvation. All right, that's the goal for us brothers to be delivered through these troubled times that we're approaching. Now, as you know, we all in this quarantine still, and um, where it is that they plan on keeping us in this quarantine about up to 18 months. And um, I don't know how true it is, but, you know, I heard certain guys speak on that. And, um, you know, I was watching so many videos yesterday, edifying videos, where certain men was teaching on um, about the quarantine, about the state of the United States. And um, <clears throat> even if they do open this thing back up, we're still facing hyperflation all right which is the bubble gonna pop you know because all the money that these uh edomites done printed up and they're giving out a stimulus trillions of dollars they didn't you know have uh printed up is uh really backed by nothing so eventually you know the economy is gonna just straight up crash and it's gonna be sedition among men all right you see yesterday uh dabu he put up a post article on um, how, you know, the farmers are not uh, are basically the uh, pork, the pork facilities, you know, which we ain't supposed to be eating that shit anyway. They're going to be shut down and um, it's going to be a shortage on uh, meats. It's going to be a shortage definitely on pork, you know, but overall and other meats is going to be shortages as well. So what that tell you, that's a famine. All right, a famine is, is about to come. And it just proves that we're living in Bible prophecy, man. You know, the more and more each day go by, you know, you can see what the Lord is going to say unto you. Because that's what we're doing. We're watching to see what the Lord will say. By through his actions and prophecies that he set forth, the things that, he do, that he's doing in the earth. All right, Esau believes he's doing it. But the Most High is controlling Esau. All right, little do he know through his left-hand side. Satan, all right, to push their agenda, which their agenda goes line, goes line, goes hand in hand with the prophecies where the Lord will stop his enterprise, stop his enterprise, excuse me. So let's read here. This is uh, Revelations chapter six and eight. Matter of fact, before I read this, you know, the most high uh, controls man. And this is Psalms chapter 75 and five. Lift not up. Your horn on high, speak not with a stick neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Yahweh is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. It says, for in the hand of the Lord Yahweh there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same. But the drags thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall rain them out and drink them. Because what's happening little before, you know, uh, the people's eyes, you know, here, those of the whole four elect, you know, we see the uh, transformation of power. We see the wicked falling and the righteous ruling. You see, the most high says, verse seven, but the most high is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. So who, really, who rules in this earth is according to the Heavenly Father. All right, let me get another one real quick. This is, um, this is, uh, Job chapter nine, verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So you see that. The key word there is given. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. 
So for a time, the Most High was going to allow the wicked to rule. And who was the wicked? Esau, Edom. All right. And it was given to them just as well as the Lord could take it away. Matter of fact, let me read this one more time. It says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Because who are the true judges? The heavenly father and his son and his people. The ones he's chosen are the Israelites. It says he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, because who fits this description? Who fits the scripture? All right. If it's not Esau, then who, who is it? Is it Moab? Is it Ham? Is it uh, uh, Ishmael? No, it's Esau, man. No one fits this description being a wicked that covers the faces of the judges, the true judges of the earth. Then Esau, man, right now we're in his hoax of coronavirus, which he's pushing this, this fear upon the people to go into the ways of his agenda which is his new world order. We're in his new world order as I speak. All right. Where he brings down his own kingdom and sets up another kingdom in his stead. But this time everyone will be transhumans. All right. We'll be dealing with technology in our bodies. Ultimately, he wants to put that mark of the beast inside of you, which is the chip. All right. Um. Oh, I wanted to get another scripture. Uh, This is Job. 14, I believe four. This is Job 14 and four. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. All right. Like this land, which you call America. Before this, it was called Asarith. All right. And <clears throat> this land been, uh, uh, this land been polluted when he destroyed the Israelites and raped and robbed and murdered and shed his blood across this land. So this land is not cleansed. All right. In order for it to be cleansed, it have to be cleansed by the blood of him that shed it. All right. As is written in uh, the book of numbers. So it says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So showing you that the heavenly father still is in control. Job 9.24, the key word there is given. So that means the Lord can take away. All right. We read, uh, what was that? Uh, Job, uh, he set up up one. He bring it down one and he set up up another. Now this one in Job 14, it says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. And one thing you Edomites, uh, what you're not going to do is successfully have the world in your new world order. And we're living, all right, in transhumans with chips in us. Because this is the boundary the Most High will not allow you to cross, will not allow you to pass. And uh, let me get one more. And I'll read the script, the main scripture I wanted to read. Um, let's go to uh, Daniel's chapter 4 and 17. It says this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the beast, the excuse me, the bases of men. All right. So it's it just, you know, these scriptures are, is, uh, is on point. Because it proves without a shadow of a doubt that the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. All right. And right now he set up the bases of men to be over the whole world. All right. Which is the wicked. Esau, Edom. All right. So let's go back. Shalakia. Yeah. All right. This is Revelations chapter six. Verse eight, it says, and I looked and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Now, this pale horse represents Esau's structure. OK, and that's what's happening now, being that he's 
you know, destroying his own kingdom to bring in his new world order, his new kingdom. All right. You know, all of these food places and farmers, you know, not being able to get their food out there. The food is going to spoil you. A famine of the word. I mean, excuse me, a famine of, of the food being uh, brought to the stores. It's not hey, people are gonna die. So really, you know, we could say that we're headed into this spirit of the pale horse, which is Esau's structure to uh to basically bring death. It says, um, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword. You know, because eventually when people start having you know, being sedition among men, you know, invading one another, ransacking these stores and looting. You know, this was these army troops are here for. All right. It says to kill with the sword. And it says and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the most high and for the testimony which they held. So it says, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain of the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, doest thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell upon earth? Because the righteous complain, man. Even the most wickedest Israelite, all right, getting put to death by Esau, when they meet the Father, all right, in the spirit room, in the fourth dimension, they cry unto the Lord and ask the Lord, When are you going to avenge, you know, the Israelites, his chosen? All right. So it says, verse 11, the white and white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest for yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So this is prophecy. All right. The Most High every, has everything on a time stamp. All right. Certain things have to happen. Mm -hmm. In order for the next level. All right. It says. Um, it says verse 12. And I beheld when I when I had opened the sixth seal. And lo there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell into the earth. Even as the fig tree cast of her untimely figs. When she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Because ultimately there's going to be a great destruction, which is Armageddon, man. All right. With dealing with thermonuclear fire. OK, because that's the next step. Once they announce this war and they're going to go into Iran, you know, it's pretty much ball game for Esau. All right. It says, um. Verse 16, did I read 15? Let's see, 15. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on a throne and from the wrath of the lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand? Because there is no going back, man. Once the Lord released this red horse, let Esau's structure start to bring forth death unto the people here in the world. Not just here, but in the world, man. All right. In this addition, America is never going to come back and be rebuilt. All right. Now, Trump is speaking on how he wants to open back this place and rebuild. But it tells the Malachi that, you know, what uh, Esau built, the Lord would throw down. OK, and then hyperflation is coming. Then the the great, you know, the, the great calamity uh, calamity is coming, you know. So, yeah, let them open it back up and, and strive to build this place after they done did their damage through this hoax of coronavirus. All right. Because eventually, right after the scriptures say, then sudden destruction fall up upon them. And, and Jake don't understand that. They don't know the. The uh the understanding of how this thing works. They don't even know what's going on because they don't even care. And that's their loss. All right. Because they despise this truth, man. All right. So we're in these times where this is the end. You know, like Elder Apostle Tahar said, it could happen 
this year. It could happen next year. But we're near. That's the point. We're near, man. All right. Um, now 16, it says, and he said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. Because why? Yahweh Shai is returning. That's what's happening. All right. These Edomites are pulling out a, a, a all on assault. They're, they're, they're assaulting the heavenly father by, uh, you know, tempting him, you know, to, to basically, you know, be in his seat. All right. They want to put chips in his Lord's creatures, yet, yet alone the Lord's chosen. And they want to be as if they're the most high. So guess what? It's only right. And it's only time. It's only perfect timing for Yahweh Shah to return and to snatch these crowns and take these devils down. You Edomites are finished. All right. Your, your folly, your bread and circus is over. America's finished. These elites done jerked you. You know, they done, they done uh, 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 robbed you. They robbed their own damn people. Of their own blessing, you know. So it says, um, uh, face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stay? All right, because it's the heavenly father that ruleth in the kingdom of men, and he governed this world in the palm of his hand. Man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way? All right, so I hope you were edified. All right. With this lesson, uh, hopefully it builds upon your faith and your time and examining the time in which you're living in, you know, pray and continue to watch and wait for the Lord to deliver us, man. You know, that's all we can do. Pray, uh, watch and pray and keep striving um, and keep, you know, striving for our, um, our crowns and the crowns we hope to have if we have the hopeful elect. So with that, I want to say shalom.